Well, when, when groups of people in the same place over many generations have children together, then their descendants will carry patterns of genetic variation that will start to look similar. And these patterns will look slightly different from people uh, living in other parts of the world. Now, if we think about and, and look at the DNA of people living in Britain today, whose ancestors also lived in Britain, then we st can start to see some patterns emerging. For example, in some quite small regions of the UK, for example in Cornwall, we can look at the DNA of people whose ancestors lived there and we can tell the difference between them and people whose ancestors lived in Devon, for example. And this tells us that in these places, people tended to have children in the past with people, other people living in the same place. DNA can also tell us about migration from outside of Britain into Britain. For example, uh, if people in the past came from Europe and settled in Britain and had children with the locals, then we can see signatures of this in the DNA of their descendants living in the UK today. And we can even work out when this DNA is likely to have arrived. 